Some men have come to marry her, but when they see that she's sick, they always run away. She said she was intelligent when she was in her secondary school. She comes back home and she's always so angry, like blaming her mom, like, why can't I go to school? Have you if it is music, we like to do dance and sing a music. You do have a lot of people who don't go to school. These are very, very intelligent, smart people, uh, kids. People are going to continue to laugh at them. They are being accused of, you know, witchcraft, something they did in the past, you know, maybe, maybe something their grandmother did wrong, maybe something their grandfather did wrong. I don't be short. I don't know where it came from. Even. He, he married, and the woman packed and went away. Evil spirit, that she can't endure that type of sickness. When he was going to the market with all the money to travel, that this sickness started. Those people around him took all his money. Yes, it's the wrong me now, because I don't know what I'm doing again. I can see how they said they thought it was a curse. They look like they're in pain. You can see where they get the stigma from, how it looks like a curse, how they're foaming through their mouth, and everybody's running away from them. If I didn't have any idea what the seizure is, I would have ran completely away. You do go define you got one that thing maybe fun. When they in Kega Fuka, a ma free and I look for mana I saw ya some of na whoop tazia one time. So no more about phone on a big call the person. The stigma that is attached to epilepsy is even more than the stigma that is attached to HIV. Wow. Yeah. Because epilepsy used to disgrace people a lot. And when you are in the lab, where she can be a warrior, go she in, go no watch aya. We do a go she me. I'm not alone. No matter here, let me alone. No just what I. She's just managing her life to the best of her ability. She accepted she has epilepsy, and she accepted as well that it has no cure. So she's just managing her life the best way she can. You understand? But for the mother, she believes that it's all over for them. It's hard for anybody to come forward with epilepsy. But if you do and you can get on the medications, most of patients will be employed and be productive and go on to live good quality lives. Because you're very young and if we can get you on a good medicine to take the seizures away, then your life will be much better. <laughs> Do you have any questions about epilepsy? Anything like that I can do for you? Any Helping 200 patients or over 200 patients is great, but the cultural stigma that we changed, um, at least locally, is, is much larger than that number is. You heard about this in the radio. That's why it's clinic. So I'm asking you people to give him treatment because he doesn't have any money to treat himself. I'm so grateful to the patients to be courageous enough to seek help because, you know, anyone in that situation, I think, would feel defeated. For every day, these epilepsy patients don't receive care. That is another day they continue to suffer. That is another day they risk falling into a fire. That is another day someone is going to make fun of them. That is another day that they're sitting at home, not finding a job for themselves. That is another day they're not having the opportunity to have normal social interactions that fellow adults or adults their age should be having. And then for the kids, every day we don't provide this care. That is a day that we watch these kids grow into something we already know is going to happen, which is a life in isolation. This is something that can be prevented. This is something that we can avoid. It takes more than one organization and one person to make a difference. It takes, you know, a whole group of people. You know, you hear certain stories and it kind of breaks your heart to think that these people are living 
their everyday life this way. My hope is that we are able to provide the best care and have them move towards a seizure-free life where they can just do the same activities as anyone else.